I'm going to focus on sealing the roof and I've got two products I've got this for a couple of the seams that I'm worried about and then I've got this product here I contacted Burns Co and this is the one they recommended they didn't actually have it in stock but they got it for me through another company which is really nice of them <laughs> reading the instructions of both of them it looks like I need to thoroughly clean the roof first so I'm going to use sugar soap to ideal for paint preparation. Interesting note though, it says wipe off immediately from aluminium surfaces. Okay, that's one area I'm going to have to fix. <laughs> Maybe it looks like some owner has previously added in probably screws that are too big for this caravan, but they did all the way along except for that one little section. even gets rid of a uh, lichen. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going down first? I am going down first. Get it over a bit more to your right. There. I'm nervous. So a big thank you to Brett for purchasing this. It's uh, it's gonna ease my mind that this caravan isn't gonna leak all over the place. So I've also got some of this metal bog. Just about half an hour later, that's all firm. It's not bad really. It's, it's much better than it was. Is it worth doing another lot on top? Hayden's decided he wants to go.
Well, it's not the neatest job, but it'll do. And a huge thank you to Tim for purchasing the sealer paint, and thank you, Ron, for purchasing the roller kit. Well, I've done the first coat, feel like it didn't go on quite how I imagined. Maybe it's a little thinner on top and there's a few like gluggy bits around the sides. So it's not quite, you know, how you imagine something perfect in your mind. It's not quite there. <laughs> I think from it, this is probably going to be a caravan that looks good from a distance but not up close. So an early start today to do the third coat. So today's stage is giving it a light sand and then doing a little bit of primer around the edges. A couple of the uh, rivets along the front, the um, electric sander, just got rid of the paint so I'll go along and just do little dabs of that rubber paint on there as again. Turns out this rubber paint doesn't really like to be sanded. Hayden described it quite well, it's like when you erase something and it all kind of clumps together on your page, like erasing a pencil drawing or something. Same thing with this rubber paint. Apparently I need to stir this for about five minutes. Mmm, And thank you Steve for purchasing a liter of paint. It's sucking up the paint really quickly. That went fast. So this fell down again, I didn't realize. So I've got a little bit of paint here. I might be able to get it off if I do that right now. Really happy with the look of that. That's turned out pretty cool. A few bumps, but it's the roof. Who's gonna notice? <laughs> so I just found out my makeup removers get this paint off your hands or the side of the caravan it's handy stuff so it got crazy windy last night and i kind of ran out of steam anyway so this morning i'm going to finally use the spray gun there's quite a lot of instructions for cleaning it so it sounds like it's quite easy to get started but it's time consuming to clean afterwards and i just need to make sure that the um the paint consistency is correct. And I should explain that I've used the roller on the flat roof section, but planning to use the spray gun on the two ends that you can see from the ground. So what I've learned so far is that solvent's not so easy to just gently pour into the container. It kind of went everywhere. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not gonna make it. <laughs> so it's over 60 seconds and it hasn't gone through this whole thing so we're gonna have to add more solvent, stir some more and try this test again. And thank you Keith for purchasing the solvent. That's quite thick. <laughs> How do you thin it? <laughs> Don't tip it that way. I suspect this is going to be a lot messier than I thought it was going to be. 
So I've changed to my Grodia clothes. I'm gonna have protective gear on and just hope, hope that it doesn't coat the rest of the caravan, but we'll, we'll see, I guess. I don't know if this is the most successful spray gun experience. So some of it isn't completely covered and then some's too thick and it's starting to run. <laughs> the wind started blowing. Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> I felt it too. Oh, your, your glasses. camera's covered. <laughs> so yeah the spray gun's harder than I thought it would be. <sighs> so I did a thinner layer this time. It's really it's not it's not all coated at all. There's lots of white showing through. Straight back on. No, go away. Not there. I've just finished cleaning the spray gun. I'm still coated. I've still got dots on paint. It's just, it's very messy. Really messy. I think I expected to be a pro right from the start, but I did some mistakes. Like you're supposed to hold it directly where you're spraying, but I, I did do that. I think I might just get out a brush and do this edging because no one's really going to notice it up there. And I've been racing through the paint. I've only been buying it one liter at a time. I've nearly gone through two liters and this is only the first coat. I'm still trying to decide if I like it or not. <laughs> the back's still wrong. And now it's sanding time. Still damp. So because the paint was so thick on the front, there's a couple of places that's still damp. Should I do the back? The back's probably dry. Okay, so I kind of was getting near the end and had a little bit of extra paint in the paint tray. So I just, I did the end, I did the back with the roller instead of the spray gun. So I was just thinking when it dries, I could sand it and then do the last, the top coat with the spray gun. Yeah, that was my thinking. And interesting enough, I don't think I need that extra paint can, but I didn't use nearly as much paint this time around. But feeling good, feeling in a good place now. I think it's running even more and I don't think... I was a little more generous with the thinner this time, thinking it would spread better and I wouldn't, wouldn't put it on as thick, but it it seems to cause it to pull down the side of the caravan more. I think the roof's going to have an interesting effect, maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, just going to do the back, just so it's finished. I thought I'd run out of paint at the end there. It seemed to be going okay. Um, it just stopped spraying on. And then when I let go, just a stream of paint ended up jetting itself onto the caravan. So I generally thought I'd just run out of paint and then I had all these splotches on the caravan. So I got whipped out the roller just to tidy it up a bit. But you could see these like weird white dots, the, you know, different colored silvers. Just wasn't looking right. And I was just, you know, starting to panic, wonder what to do. And I open up the spray gun and it's still half container left so it's just decided to stop spraying 
but I fiddled around with the end of the spray gun. I just played around with this part, took off this whole section, just put it back together again, took this on and off twice, and then it just decided to start working again. So <laughs> I started spraying. It also did stop that random jet of paint at the end. So I actually don't know what is the better side. The other side's dripping down, but it looks smoother. This side looks dotty, kind of pebbled, but it's done, it's done for now. I do wonder if I'll get to the finishing painting the rest of the caravan and I'll revisit the roof maybe, or at least the ends and fix it. And if you're curious to know what other products I'm needing to purchase next for this caravan, you can jump onto tributors.com slash travelingk to see my, my wish list. <laughs>